Hey Habos, it's not myself. We're going to try out this video tutorial thing, see how that goes, and um, probably at the same time, find out how much of a fool I can make of myself as I'm trying to explain everything to you while I'm doing it. So, you know, you, that should be pretty fun, at least the, uh, the part about me making a fool of myself, because it will happen time and time again, because that's how I roll. Yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, so we're going to make a basic alt, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a few different images of a habo and then combine those together to make a new image, uh, a new position. And uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do that is the images of the habo, so our assets. And uh, I've grabbed a few of my character because I'm completely narcissistic and want to see myself all over the place. Uh, so the best way you can get images of any kind of habo or anything in habo is to just go onto the client and take a screenshot. So if you're on a PC, uh, you can hit the print screen button and uh, then you're going to open up your graphics program and just hit paste, which is usually control V on a PC, and that will paste your screen grab right into that graphics program. And uh, if you're on a Mac, like yours truly, uh, you're going to hit shift Apple 4 and it's going to give you this crosshair and once you've got the crosshair you can hit the space bar and it's going to turn into a camera now when you click and you have this camera it's going to take a screen grab of whatever window the camera is currently on so like right now you can see I've got the camera on my Photoshop setup file and it's all like light blue so if I was to move over to my desktop and click down it would take an image of my desktop so whatever window you got the camera on I'm going to hit escape and just get out of that because I currently already have my assets. And the other way you can get the uh, the assets that you need is to use like a um, a Habu image generator. A lot of fan sites have those and uh, it, it's a pretty easy way to get uh, Habu images in, in different you know positions so that you don't have to physically go onto the site and do it. Uh, a few places that have them, you know, Habu X has one, uh, Habu Times has one, um, hey Habo has one, and Haberator has one also. Uh, a lot of these sites also have like furniture images and images off the website, so you can use those in uh, your alts also, or just your other type of Habo pixel art, straight pixels entries, whatever. Um, I use this site all the time. I use a lot of sites uh, just to grab assets that I, you know, don't have on file or whatever, so, you know, they're really good resources and you should use them however you you know, if they have something that you need, just, you know, jank it. So, uh, let's get started here. So I've got my assets. Uh, I figured it's going to take me about four images to get this one pose. And I'm thinking, we're going to do like a, a Mr. Miyagi kind of like praying mantis kick pose. You know, where the kid's like on the beach, on the log, he's got his hands up in the air, and he's going to, you know, practice whatever he's doing. I don't even remember. Anyway, uh, so the first thing I did was I grabbed my assets and I aligned them by my right foot because that's the one pos position that's going to stay sort of the same. So uh, one thing right off the bat, this guy is not lined up because he's in a different position. He's at the four position instead of the two position because that means so much to you guys. Anyway. So I'm going to transform this and just flip him horizontally. Now I'm in Photoshop. Uh, I always use Photoshop. I love Photoshop. Like a lot. I love it. You should too. And uh, so I'm going to transform it. It's uh, Apple T on a Mac. So that's Control T on a PC. And I'm just going to right click that and flip horizontal. And then I'm going to align that dude up by that right foot again. There we go. So there's that. Now, in Photoshop, it has a feature where you can have one window open and you can zoom in to the size that you're going to need to work at. And if you go to Window, Arrange, New Window, it's going to give you a new window at, you know, 100%, and then you can scale that one also. Um, so you can see something at 100% and then at the scale that you're working on it, 
So it's a little bit easier to to manage how something actually looks in comparison to, you know, at the at the normal size. So I'm gonna turn off some of these layers. And another thing about Photoshop or GIMP, if you you know a free program on the internet, GIMP also has layers uh, and runs on PC and Mac. Uh, but layers are awesome because it lets you sort stuff and put stuff above other things. And it's a little bit easier to um, to manage your assets and you know it might be a little bit complicated at first but once you get used to it uh, it's it's awesome so I recommend layers so the first thing we're gonna do is set up my left leg here so for my little karate pose this is gonna be my left leg and uh, I'm going to put a mask on that layer you can just use the mask palette down here. Now masks are awesome in Photoshop because they let you non-destructively sort of edit an image so you can mask out stuff that you don't need and uh, if you find out that you know, oh shoot I just screwed up you can disable the mask by holding shift or you can physically just delete it and start over and the image underneath was never harmed so masks equal cool. So I'm going to delete everything that I don't need, which would be, you know, the right leg and everything else, because I'm just going to use the left leg in this. I'm going to take the marquee tool and I'm just going to mask or, you know, square off this area and I'm going to, um, Alt-Delete, which is just going to fill it in with black or whatever color you currently have on your top just to make this a little faster. So then here is my, this is going to be my right leg and I've got that underneath my left leg here, you can see. It's a cool thing with layers there. First I'm going to just delete, mask that up. Whoops! I'm going to mask that off, and I'm going to fill in the stuff that I don't need again. And that's going to be everything but that leg. Now most of that's going to get covered up by this leg so you don't have to completely delete or mask off or recolor all of that if you have layers so I'm gonna move this something like that maybe and then this image is gonna be my I'm gonna use it as my body and my right arm so I'm gonna put another mask on this guy and I'm gonna mask off this bottom area. Let's close that so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to remove this arm. We don't need it. We're gonna use the left arm from some other image. And get rid of this junk. All right, so let's kind of move this a little bit, get it a little bit better. I think I'm going to remove these pixels and we'll just draw them back in because we're going to want that kind of straight and we'll put another layer on and use it as a, like a, a fixed layer to fix up all this stuff like this pixel here should be black we're gonna have to fill in that part there fix this area add more to the side here but we'll get to that in a second so here is my my left arm we're just gonna use the arm so I'm gonna hide those layers put a mask on this one and remove everything that I don't need fun times
All right. There's one there. All right. There's all my pieces. Looks not finished. So let's fix that. I'm going to move this over. That's pretty good. Now we're going to add in my fix layer that I was talking about. Just make a new layer. And we're just going to draw on this layer like it was a normal layer. So I'm just adding in some of the stuff that's missing. Filling in the leg here. Pants. Let's get this belt going. A little thin. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's get this pixel. Cool. So we got this new pose. Let's make them a little bit thicker. There we go. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so we have our new pose out of four individual images, right? So leg, leg, body and arm, and then our arm, and uh, the fix layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a group, a folder, and I'm going to drag all of these guys, the layers, into that group. Then I'm going to drag that group into the layer tab, or button, and make that a new duplication of, of my original group. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to merge the group. So I have one set that has uh, all my setup in case I want to go back and fix something like I typically do because I notice I screw up. And I've got one image that is completely collapsed all in one layer. So now we're going to go ahead and edit this and change out a bunch of stuff like um, if I'm a karate dude, I probably wouldn't be wearing jeans. You know, it'd be kind of hard to kick someone's butt in jeans. Well, I guess not. But well, whatever. I'm not going to wear jeans. Uh, I'm going to need a karate belt. I probably wouldn't be wearing my tie. I definitely would have my 3D glasses on because, let's face it, 3D glasses are awesome. So we're going to go ahead and, like, you know, delete this, tie, fix the belt, change the pants, change the shirt. So we're going to start by, first of all, changing the color of the pants. Um, I think we're going to go maybe red. You know, red's awesome. So what we're going to do is a pretty easy way, in Photoshop anyway, of making a color alteration. Um, and this will work with furniture or you know, hobo clothes, hair, whatever. So the best way to go about it is to get your magic wand tool. Set your tolerance really low, so you're only going to be selecting the color that you actually click on. It'll help you uh, not make any, you know, grab any colors that you don't really want to be grabbing. Make sure the um, anti-alias is uh, unchecked. You don't want that checked, otherwise you're going to get blurry edges. And with pixel art, you know, that's a huge no-no, blurry edges. So, unchecked. So we're going to click on the colors that we're going to want to change. And I'm going to go to Image, Adjustment, and Desaturate. Bam. So all that did was turn this to a black and white image. So with that still selected, we're going to go back up to Image and go to Adjustment, Brightness, and Contrast. Now we're going to bump up the brightness to make it a little bit more on the, the white side. Not completely white, because we still want all that gradation between the colors to come through. 
but we do want to lighten it up because what we're going to do is darken it by using a, a blend mode but if it's too dark it's just going to end up turning like really black and you won't really see the color that you want to make it change into so 82 you know that's pretty good it's nice and gray uh, not super white I'm gonna hit OK so here's the the magic of Photoshop I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm going to set that layer that I just made to multiply blend mode. So multiply pretty much just adds the color that you're putting down onto the color that's underneath it. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool and I'm going to grab the color that I want the pants to be. I said red because red is awesome and I'm going to fill in drawing on that multiply blend mode layer my red. As you can see it's sort of uh, taking care of all of the gradation for me. I don't have to think about it. Easy peasy. This is fun, isn't it? Watching. It's, uh, this is probably what everyone sees that sits behind me every single day. What lucky people. So with that done, it's pretty easy, right? Just multiply. Um, let's go ahead and change the, uh, well I should say, if you're using paint, you're gonna have to go a different route to uh, color that stuff in. You'd have to uh, have to make a, a palette of colors. I'm just going to do this the fast way. But you'd have to use the fill tool, paint bucket, and physically fill in the colors that you want to change in the order that they would appear in your color palette. So it's a little more tricky to do it that way. Why I like Photoshop. So, same sort of thing, uh, I just prefer the multiply sort of way, it works a little bit better. And it's, a, it's how Habo sort of makes the colored versions inside the client. Uh, most of the graphics are black and white, if it's colorable, like uh, t-shirts and, and whatnot. And then it's just sort of like a flash blend mode or previously a shockwave blend mode that, that would add the color together to make the color that you're seeing. So with that done, I'm going to actually copy this red so that I know what it was. Set that back to multiply. So let's go through and edit some of this other stuff. You know, even though it looks like I'm uh, doing the jig and not a karate master, uh, I'm a karate master, at least in this alt. So we're gonna fix this belt, we're gonna remove the tie and uh, we're gonna probably change the shirt so that it's a little bit more like a karate uniform uh, whatever they're called and uh, so we'll get started with that, we'll get started with the uh, let's do the belt so I'm just going through and I'm just gonna redraw the line of the belt to make it straight There we go. Gonna add some 
texture to the belt to make it a little bit more cloth-like or I don't know karate mastery there we go that's that's decent not super but pretty good uh, oh, we should probably have that like not in the back so let's put that in we'll make the uh, ties fly off There we go. And, uh, let's start with the tie now, the top of the uh, outfit. Delete that. I'm just coloring over it with the shirt color, sort of haphazardly, just to get rid of it. make this fall down Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe some uh, texture down here at the bottom. All right. So I'm going to collapse it all together. I'm going to merge layers. So I have one image again. And uh, you know, I'm not feeling the red. I think I'm going to go with some uh, Cresthawk Purple Power Ranger color. And Let's unselect the shoe because we don't want to change that. I'm going to go up to because uh, I have my pants again. Otherwise, I would just have to um, do the brightness. But since I grabbed my red pants, I'm going to go desaturate and then I'm going to go back and do the brightness and contrast. Bump that up because the uh, the top of the gi, or whatever it's called, should probably match the bottom. Let me make a new layer, set it to multiply. And since I've already got this all selected, I can just fill in purple. And should be pretty good. There we go. Purple. That's pretty awesome. That's very purple. I think Crestock would be proud. It brings out the color of my glasses too. Yeah, I could stare at this for another. No, I'm pretty much done with it. So that's pretty much how you would do an alt. Uh, pretty basic. Um, but uh, if you got Photoshop, doing the color alterations is pretty simple. Um, 
and a lot easier than doing it in Paint. Uh, you could try out GIMP also, uh, and there's a ton of other free programs out there. So um, just try some of them out and see which one fits you better, um, which one's most easy for you to use. And uh, hopefully we'll come back with another another tutorial, uh, maybe advanced alting or, or something like that uh, a little bit later. So uh, I hope this helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, you know, not see you, but you'll see this again or something like it. Anyway, have fun.